Woo, it is go time. Yay. Okay. So as per my usual, just going to go over to Facebook just to make sure I am going live and then I'm going to dive right in. So I am very excited to be here this evening and thank you for joining me. If you are joining me live, if you are joining me on the replay, please feel free to say hello. I just want to say hello. So I know you're watching. Hello, Yelena. Hello. So I do realize that it is Easter and um, some folks may not be able to join us, which is a okay. I just wanted to make sure that this was going live, that I was going to give you the template, which I will share as soon as we finish this. And so in the poll, we were kind of at a, uh, a dead heat between focus and articulating emotions. And I went with focus because I thought it would be the easiest one for us to do. And I don't even know why I'm still going to go over and look on Facebook whenever I can see that I'm definitely like <laughs> I'm a fool. <laughs> so this week it's going to be mandalas. So you can either color them in or over oh, in the comments, can't see the comments, sorry, guys. Or we can trace over the top, okay? I have done them, the templates that I'm going to share, I've done them in the ones to trace over in a really light gray. Yulita, thank you for joining me anyway. If you're on the flip and train, my goodness, thank you so much. How is everybody this week? Hello. I can't see your name, so I'm just saying hello. Lovely to have you here and thank you for joining us. So this week, covering mandalas because they are fantastic for number one, doing what we always want to do, get your brain into that alpha mode to help you relax and decompress. Then whenever you have finished doing your mandala, you will get that boost of dopamine, which is what we want. And then also it will help you to improve focus in general, which is great. So I'm just trying to think which will be the quickest one for me to do. I think I will trace over using paint pens. So you can do it in black pen. Of course you can do it in black pen, but I think that just a quick way to do it and a way to inject some color into proceedings would be using a uni Posca paint pen. And this week we, well, no, on Sunday of last weekend, we move forward in hours so the sun's out. <laughs> the sun's been out all day today. It has been absolutely gorgeous. So please excuse me while I do this and just reconfigure myself. Now, there we go. And you can see my little heater. And yeah, there we are. How are you, Lisa? Hi, hello, hello, hello. Again, I can't see your name. If you can click the StreamYard link that is in the description, that would be incredibly helpful just so I can see your name, that's all. And hey, Lisa. It's lovely to see you guys here and at the end of uh, this week's live i will be sharing the the second winner of the 36 set of gel crayons because i'm an egypt <laughs> csc one last week which is fantastic but um we've got another winner this evening and sandra is in charge of that thank you very much sandra so i am just going to dive in because as i mentioned there a wee minute ago at in the poll i had asked what you wanted work on to work on this week and we couldn't decide between articulating emotions and focus and i thought that focus would be the quickest and most beneficial you love mandalas woo see i normally don't because i couldn't be bothered like i do freehand mandalas and i just they always take forever but that's just because I'm doing them in pen. I never even thought that I could do them in <laughs> pens before because I'm some kind of an Egypt or something, turns out. So yeah, this sign pen will do brilliantly. And I wanted to provide a template to do them because whenever you trace over shapes and you continue to trace over shapes, you are actually building up your muscle memory so that whenever it, you come in the future to draw it freehand on your own, it'll be so much easier. So please keep your eyes peeled. Sandra, if you could keep a list of everybody who attends this live, that would be very helpful. And then I can just tag everybody as soon as I upload the template after this live, just to make things easier for everybody. 
And yes, welcome along, everyone. If I am not seeing you, it is because I have got my head in a mandala. And the, of course, I'm going for my go-to colors. Of course. Ooh, so who has got plans for this Easter weekend? And I ask because we are all over the world and not everybody is in lockdown like we are. So where's everybody going? What's everyone doing? Is Easter a big thing with you? Thank you, Sandra. I was having conversations about Easter this week and I was just fascinated by just the way different countries operate whenever it comes to the deal that we make out of it. I remember um, one Easter in particular that my mum my mom and I were away to Mass and I was like, oh, you are so mean making me go to Mass when there's all that with the chocolate at home. So I will, I think I will fill that in actually. Oh, my nip is all um, fluffy here. There we go, that's a bit better. Now, I know I'm using these paint markers, but there will be a few detail areas that are not going to be conducive to using um, a broad nibbed marker. And I will probably use a jelly roll pen, quite possibly. And this is a two parter piece. So let's go for lime green, see what happens with the souffle. Ooh. So what does decorating hard boiled eggs? Uh, thank you very much, Sandra. Sandra has tagged you in with, oh, you finished your Zentangle. I would love to see it. Uh, all the templates and stuff are gonna be under files and Sandra has just linked it there. So, uh, so for my family, we have never really done much for Easter. It's no, oh, that pens. Need new pens, guys. <laughs> We've never really done much for Easter, to be honest with you. It was um, going to mass and having a Sunday dinner, but it wasn't much different to every other Sunday. So apart from the tons and tons of chocolate. Hey Becca, don't be worrying about, uh, you talk about your printer's broke. My printer has had like no ink in it. <laughs> and I have been just not been using it at all. And then I kind of realized that, okay, so I know today's templates are gonna be gray colored. So I needn't worry too much about the fact that I don't have any ink in it. It's not gonna matter that much if I'm tracing over the top, you know? So I wanted to do something that was a riot of color because it is springtime. The sun was out today. It was absolutely beautiful. And it was even better because I don't work on Fridays just so that I'm banking up all of my energy for this. Uh, but this week I have just been in a real kind of springtime mood. Hello, I'm just gonna tap your name here just to say hi. If you could do me a solid and hit the StreamYard link that Sandra will send you, I will be able to just see your name and that way I will just be able to address you by name whenever you leave a comment. But welcome, welcome along. Oh no, Becca. That's weird. Have you done all your troubleshooting? Let me see. I need more markers. I need more pens on the go, guys. More pens. Just more nibs. Oh, where do I want to go now? Pick a color, any color. <laughs> purple, purple. Let's go purple.
did everybody see Charlotte's amazing Superwoman costume, or not Superwoman, superhero costume that she made with the wrapper of a Tonics tea cake? Holy flip. And also, Charlotte, if you are watching, you remember whenever they sent a Tonics tea cake into space? <laughs> I was remembering about that earlier. <laughs> So these are, again, because we are working on repeating patterns, it is excellent for our brains. And this type of concentrated work and focus using your hands is the thing that really helps your brain to encourage improved focus in all areas of your life. So the more you do things like mandalas and also, um, what was the thing we did last week, the other week? Zen tangles. It was so good. Talking about Charlotte's top, or top, Jesus. <laughs> Not top, cape, cape and costume. I absolutely loved it. She sent me an amazing uh, one that somebody else had drawn on Instagram as well. Uh, I think she sent it in my DM. So I must, Sandra, you go into the DMs and see if you can share it in the group too, because it was just the most fabulous kind of ideal eco warrior type superhero costume. And I just loved the ideas that we were all coming up with. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed last week, just as we change a pace for us all. And I love how I told you I was going like, and kept talking for 20 minutes. I wouldn't have thought I was a chatty Cathy, but turns out I might be. Oh, sometimes um, if your printer's not printing anything at all, it could be the, uh, the rollers that are the problem, but just go through all the troubleshooting when you could be bothered. Oh, do I want to go this blue or I might try this. Let's hope this still works because I don't use these in the white. Oh, they do. Oh man, I forgot to remind Valentina that this was happening. Gosh, the days can just get away from us. Uh, I've only, today, I was like, oh my God, it's Friday. Oh my God, I haven't fought my granny all week. <laughs> is that happening to anybody else or is it just me? Uh, Becca, is it an old printer? You can get pretty good ones. Like my uh, wireless one was about 40 quid or so. Although I've had it a while, but it's still, it still works. Ivana, did you have a lovely birthday? I know I've asked you that before, but the rest of us want updates for that because <laughs> it's been a week. Is Stacy here? Stacy, did you get your crayons? Although I think I may have only ordered those yesterday. Honestly, I have no idea where I am in the space time continuum at all. So quite like I haven't, I'm not really one to use purple, but I really like using the purple in this. I think it looks really good. Right, which color next? This purple? Yay! Yes, they arrived, fantastic. And how do they blend? Do they blend well? So as I was saying earlier, whenever you are tracing over these elements and these mandalas, we are gonna be building your muscle memory. So if you 
have it in your head that you can't draw or whatever it is, I promise you that practicing shapes and doing things like this and tracing over, even if it is just you repeatedly practicing doodling really simple shapes, you are building the muscle memory and then you will improve your drawing skills in no time. It is something that is really easy to do and it is a great way to get your brain into that relaxing mode using your hands and then you're improving a skill at the same time and you don't even need to focus too hard on it like you can have the tv on in the background you can be listening to music or whatever it is just it's an enjoyable way to spend time away from screens which is so important and it is so important to make that part of your kind of everyday routine just to give your brain a break and I was reading a book earlier called Thrive by, you know, um, Ariana Huffington. She has a website called Thrive Global and it, the editors of that created a group, uh, a book, not a group. Well, a group and a book, but a book. Um, now, what color next? Pink? Should we go pink? Mm, what kind of pink? Um, yeah, so this book was just saying that it's no use saying that you are going to unplug and oh, only doing it like when you go on vacation or when that's the thing that's going to happen. Um, let me see, do I have a bit of scrappy paper here? There's no use just doing it like as a one-off. It has to become part of your regular practice in order for you to really get the benefit of it. Your brain needs the break. I might have just ruined the color choices with this pink, but uh, oh, the nib is kind of flipping wrecked. Oh no. You. Let me see if I can scratch this off. Uh, it's called Thrive. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's thrive and then it's got another wee tagline about micro steps but yeah i am a big fan of ariana huffington's book just i think i mentioned her story before like she was in her 60s and in her second year of building the huffington post and she just she reached a burnout and she woke up in a pool of her own blood because she had collapsed and smashed her head on a glass desk and that was precisely where she was she um she really risked her life building that business and then she just kind of realized that this is not what success looks like oh no my ink is running out and she uh, wrote the sleep revolution and i have a lot of time for ariana huffington and her you find it okay great <laughs> oh come on i wonder see this one's kind of big this one's less big. Let's just go over the top. See what happens. Yeah, better. Oh, have another book recommendation actually. Um, do less, get more by a lady called Sha, S-H-A-A, Wasmund, W-A-S-M-U-N-D. It is a very good book. And kind of at the end, she went over her process of how she likes to look at big projects and things. And anyone who is in my Daily Creator Challenge will know exactly what I'm talking about when she said that she just imagines all of the steps of her big project or her undertaking as stepping stones that she has to get across and she can't focus on all of the stones she just has to focus on the one in front and i was like oh that's that's what i do that's what i teach my girls so it's a really good book oh man these nibs <gasps> i think i need to have we um go through my supplies
So we do, so we do. So what was the last thing you were arty or crafty about this week? I know that Becca has been doing Zentangles like n between two kingdoms. What's that about? I'm being very quiet here because I need to focus. Stupid bristly nib. You can tell that I have used this quite a bit. Ooh, needle felting. I, do you know that is one thing that I have never ever done? I've done the, um, I've used the roving wool and I've made like wee footballs for purpose because she loves them. And then just anytime she can eats them to bits, then I'm able to just use fairy liquid and fix them again. But in terms of needle felting, I have never, ever done it. It's probably one of the only crafts that I never bothered trying. Not that I wouldn't, I just never bothered. Other things got in the way and I kind of always defaulted to like a few specific ones. Mod Podge and old book covers. Ooh. Please, whenever you, um, do a craft during the week or finish something, feel free to share in the group with everyone because we would absolutely love to see what you're making. I think it'll be really inspiring for others to see what we're all up to. And just if somebody is feeling not too creative that week or it might be the one thing that they need to be like, yeah, I need to get back into crafting. And if you happen to be having a week where you're not crafting, I would just like to reiterate that you should never ever be comparing yourself and the fact that you haven't crafted to whatever anybody else is doing because if you're not at yourself you're not at yourself and just honor the time that you take off and relax and be good to yourself and be kind to yourself because you deserve it and remember the other thing that I always live by is that if you wouldn't say it to your best friend you don't get to say it to yourself uh, that marker was a terrible idea because the nib was bad so let's see if i can choose a bit more wisely <laughs> i'm gonna try this yellow let's see how we go Ooh. better better Move this out of the way. Oh, so because this, there are websites out there. Um, I cannot remember the flipping name of one right now, but there are color palette websites out there, and that's what I would go to. Um, I used to be like that until I kind of I chose my signature palette, which is, and if you have joined me for the past few weeks, it'll be this color, uh, pink of all kinds, and yellow. These three colors. These are my colors. So I'm usually always going there. And if I am doing another thing or a large piece that requires more colors, I will always go to purple and green because 
they go that's what they go with they match they look good so it's never a big a big thing and I try not to get too anxious about it Ooh, a gift box I'd love to see that so this is like a, um, a peachy color with a slightly thinner nib now. And I normally just kind of operate with pastels. I don't go with dark colors. I don't go with reds usually, I like that for anything at all, ever. No clothing, no home decor, I just don't. I kind of live on the, the pastel shade, of, the pastel side of life. So it makes color choices a whole lot easier. But of course, it can be fun to pop in a few brights every now and then. Oh, and here is a hint just for anyone out there who needs it. Whenever you are painting and doing things like this, always turn your work instead of turning yourself. <laughs> Makes life so much easier. Okay, this is all dry. Yes, that's so important, Becca. Yes. I find that people learn best through making mistakes. They really do. So it's important that we learn to accept that we will make mistakes. Mistakes are inevitable. Like you can't go through life without making a mistake somewhere along the line. So why would you let the fear cripple you from doing nothing? Ooh, gemstone colors. Love that idea. Yeah, so you can even, um, there are certain <clears throat> websites that allow you to upload photographs and then they pick color palettes from the photographs. And if you've got, if you've seen a few pictures that you absolutely love and it is because of the colors that are in the image, save the image and then run it through one of those websites and then you have got like an instant collection of color palettes you adore that you can instantly default to. And that'll just make your creating and creativity so much easier. Hey, Sharon. Yes, I know that about you, Yulita. I remember. You're just a bolder personality. That's all right. We like what we like and we like what we resonate with. Now, should I go with an alternating color because there are we stripes in here? Hmm. No, do you know what? I think I will actually fills instead of just stripes.
so we are tracing over mandalas today, but the template that I am given, Sharon, uh, you can either color them in or you can trace over or you can do both. I guess it depends on the um, the supplies that you'll be using. I have just decided to use acrylic marker pens because it would be the fastest instead of going over in pen, which would be uh, a bit more detailed and would take a lot more time, which is why I haven't really done too many. Um, just in general, not in just for um, this, but in my general arty, arty crafty life, if I see mandalas, I'm like, no, too much work. No, thank you. <laughs> Pass. But actually this is, it's actually, yeah, if I've got a simple enough pattern, then it's easy enough to do. And it's a piece of artwork that I created. And it's time that I have spent relaxing. So it's good. And I will be sharing the template as soon as we um, finish up here. And yes, this is absolutely right. I'm, I'm guessing that that's Stacey saying that, but I could be wrong. I have a beautiful poetry book actually by a, um, a lady named Laura Dockrell and it's called Mistakes in the Background. Oh, I think you'd love it. Now, somebody shout out a colour for there's like wee teardrops on the outside. What'll I, what'll I make those? green yeah maybe i've got green it's not a paint marker but it's um a felt tip anyway so perhaps That's cool. That was um, all of my artwork as a teenager, back. <laughs> oh, Sharon, I love that. Fantastic. We've had two, uh, two yellows for green, so I'm gonna go with green. Please excuse my wee vest underneath. I've just been rocking around in a wee kind of vest top or t-shirt all day because the sun's been out slathered myself in factor 50 of course i did who else here is in the factor 50 club or is it just me the bright white irish lady now do i fill in these little teardrop guys Right, white pose. <laughs> Factor 50 club, woo! For the win, for the win. I've actually seen a few badges that say Factor 50 club on them and I really, really want to get one. I think it's by Finest Imaginary that does a gold one, but she's in the States. And just the shipping to get it over here to Ireland is a it was a lot more than the pin, so it's not flipping worth it, really. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, not so bad, guys. Not so bad. <laughs> I love that we're all just bright white, bright white ladies. Bright white ladies who just sizzle and burn. Sizzle and burn. <laughs> oh, no. Let me just move this while I move the iPad back. So, yeah. So I have done another easy one for you to go over. Or there is a half one and you can trace over it. It's a little more detailed like with stripes and things but of course if you're using paint or whatever you can go right over the top of it and you'll be doing great and if you you don't have to fill in all three just do one as your homework for this weekend and if you can do one every day sure even better for you but you don't have to not for the homework anyway at least so yeah excuse my itchy hand what does that mean fight money what is it i can't remember the old wives tales oh no if you've got an itchy palm you're getting money that's what it is that you had my being you got bit when you're outside earlier. Freezing mm. cold tea. Ugh. Gross. So how are you guys this week? Did you have any more ideas on your superhero costumes from last week? Can you guys see yourselves like just perfectly in my glasses? <laughs> just the green. It's a reflection of me and a reflection of you. I will take you off, Becca. Putting you on blast there. So, yeah, I absolutely love these sessions. They are so good for my health. It's been rough, huh? Are you, um, you're in the States then? Yes, that's right. Right hand, you'll spend money. Oh. But it, I thought it was the palm of the hand. What's this bit? What's this bit? <laughs> it's been a rough week. Or have you been taking time for yourself? And have you been checking in with like the way you speak to yourself in terms of whether or not you're speaking negatively? Oh, God damn it. That really sucks. It really does. And people are so quick to just be, couldn't be bothered to deal with you or show any kind of grace or anything like that. So I am really sorry to hear that as well, Rachel. That really sucks. It really does. I hope that you are taking time out for yourself. Do you meditate at all? The reason I ask about meditation is because whenever we are stressed out, we are in, like our bodies go into that fight or flight response and it takes all the blood away from our internal organs. We get boosts of cortisol, we get boosts of adrenaline and then our um, the blood is pumping towards our muscles and things so you can like outrun a lion or a bison or whatever, but you're not. You don't, you don't need to do that. Uh, for now, you've got a roof over your head. Um, and whenever you meditate and you take a deep breath, just a slow, deep breath activates the parasympathetic, can't say it, parasympathetic <laughs> nervous system. And it helps to lower those cortisol levels so that you don't feel like you're on the go, on the go, on the go all the time. Yeah, Factor 50 Club. Yep. Oh, that sucks, Rachel. Well, I have got some good news for you, Rachel, because Sandra did send me your name as the winner. I already had the banner flipping prepped and everything. <laughs> you won the 36 like watercolor gel crayons. So if you want to just DM me your address and I'll get those ordered for you and sent to where you are, or I can send it to a friend's house if you're not 100% sure what's happening. Wherever you want me to send, I'll send them. Okay, so well done, Rachel. 
That's what you get for being in here and being good. Yeah, you won. Sandra told me earlier, she chose earlier. We can screenshot and show you the time and everything, but yes, you won. So congratulations. So I hope that brightens up your week. Some good news. Because good things do still happen in this world, even whenever it feels like it's all flipping, piling on us and fighting against us, no matter how hard we try. But you're showing up here every week. You are doing good for your mental health. Keep at it. It is so worth it and it's so worthy. So yes, congratulations, Rachel. And I really do hope things improve for you. Oh, yeah. Sandra, share the wheel. There'll probably be a timestamp on there as well. Just so, just so you know, it's not like out of sympathy or anything. You did properly win. You properly won. The universe provided. So there you go. Now, what is happening next week? What? Oh, sorry, my flipping calendar's miles away. <laughs> Friday the 9th. So I'm thinking there's going to be four more weeks left of April. We'll pick another giveaway prize and announce it during next week. Uh, no, like just during the week in the group. And I will pick a winner for that at the very end of April. Be easier. <laughs> oh, well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, wins can happen. You've got a community of people here that love seeing you here and love having you here and just I have so much fun doing these and just talking rubbish. <laughs> I feel like I could talk for ages. But it's it's easy whenever you know who you're talking to. Do you know what I mean? Like you know the types of people you're connecting with and I know that you're all very like me. So it just makes it so much easier to just blah, 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 blah. I think Rachel is somewhere in the States. Could be Texas, could be Iowa, could be lies. <laughs> Somewhere in the States for sure. I know Stacy's in Cali. We really are a flipping international group. We're in Poland, we're in Macedonia, Texas. I remember. <laughs> Making US connections. Yeah, there's so many folks in here that are just, we got Wendy in Texas as well. I think you may be the only one in California, quite possibly. We've, we do have a couple of people in Iowa. I am, um, I was gonna say I'm nearly certain Christie's in Texas, but that might, pos that's, that could be a lie. I think Arizona looks amazing, actually. Um, I just like the look of the desert. I, Whenever I was younger, I did photography in college. And I absolutely loved the idea of just going out at night and setting up a camera because you could do something called a long exposure where you could just leave the film exposed for hours on end and it would just track the stars going across the sky. And just the ones from Arizona were most beautiful. They were the most beautiful colors and the cactus in the front. Oh my goodness. So I have always wanted to go to the States. Well, that's true. <laughs> You've got a point there. <laughs> By the way, folks, if you have got a chronic condition now, I wish I bought another copy. But Stacy has created a fantastic workbook for whenever you are on hospital visits, for if you have just been newly diagnosed and you are getting used to your life in your new body. Um, and Stacy also has a wonderful thing that whenever you buy a copy, you can also get a copy gifted to a friend in need. So I highly recommend you go to fineartofwaiting.com. Um, I sent a copy to Charlotte and I I haven't, she loved it. I know she loved it, but uh, it's been a couple of months and I'm just wondering now how, if she spelled it in. Must ask, I must ask. Oh, you're welcome. It is a fantastic book. It really is. Like I showed my mom and she was really impressed too. She could have done with a copy of that whenever she was going through the same thing. 
Like I, I kind of went through all of these. So Stacey has got the workbook for you to go through. There's like outlines and templates for you to use, figuring out how you want to feel in your new body, how you can get, um, oh, you can, nom you can nominate yourself for a free copy too. Brilliant. That's why I love it. There we go. Fineartawaiting.com. And that's her on all of her social medias as well. And you can see Stacey's art on her Instagram on that too. Stacey is one of those gals that I discovered through doing the Spoonie Saturday shout out. So I, Sandra is going and going through the spreadsheet and picking out random businesses to shout out about that are owned by disabled or uh, Spoonie owned businesses. Of course, Stacey, it is really a fantastic book. And I know lots of people in here are Spoonies. So of course, of course. And people are struggling. So like the Reese, I had to get this reminder myself this week. I had to give this reminder myself this week, but all of the resources that we could possibly need to solve our problems exist in this world. And I know I teach this and I know I've taught this in my challenge, but I needed the reminder. I was like, oh yeah, that's true. I teach this to people. <laughs> it's like, really? like the reason entrepreneurs have such a hard time coming up with the perfect business idea because practically every problem has got a solution already and it is so important that we remember in times of struggle when we can't see a way out doesn't mean that there isn't a way out that other people have traveled all you have to do is hitch your wagon onto one of them okay so it is so important that we remind each other that we remind ourselves and that's not the only thing I've had to remind myself of this week like I've had a few people talking about just different areas like areas with food like and your relationship with food and areas with like your relationship with money and it, they were teaching about reframing thoughts and I was like oh my god this is what I teach <laughs> Claire why have you not been thinking about this in this way <laughs> the things that I teach can be applied to all areas of life and it just like it, I think it is so important that therapists have therapists, the coaches have coaches. Like we can get inside our own heads so much that we forget the basics completely. So it is just, it's really important that if you don't know the way out, DM me. Cause I'm, I can guarantee you, I have a resource or I know a resource or I know someone who can get you that resource. Okay. I know so many people in my capacity as an entrepreneurial coach, as uh, in my capacity as an art therapist, I can connect you with whatever you need to be connected with. Yeah, food and money, only the two important things. <laughs> Just, I've been trying to eat better and get all the nutrition and stuff. Those stinky swamp smoothies that I like taking, I like taking, I don't like taking them. Just, I was trying to, I asked my, uh, my bookkeeper no she was my money coach and I was like is there a way at all to make the money tasks enjoyable because I hate them <laughs> and she ended up doing a full Facebook live with tons of ideas for me and I went thank you so much that's very helpful thank you so yeah it's just like oh Claire you dingus you teach this thing to people you should know this and of course like you know what well, you know you know but whenever it gets buried in your subconscious, I'm sorry, I forgot to take a heavier tablet today and I can feel my nose just bunging up. Mm, sweet to you. <laughs> so yeah, it is, it's really important that we remember, oh, my glasses are all funky, that the resources are there. All you need to do is ask. Please don't be too proud to ask for help. I think, I think that people think about asking for help like I've heard a couple of people this week saying I'm too proud to ask for help. And I'm like, help. So, no. Asking for help is one of the strongest things I have ever witnessed anyone doing. Because it was only once they asked for help that their lives were able to completely transform. And not just their lives, but the lives of the people around them. So whenever you ask for help, you are actually showing the most ridiculous strength and I know so many people who see it that way and it's usually just themselves who see it as a weakness and it's not a weakness at all. 
at all. It is a strength. It really is. And it is a strength of character as well. So it is something that you should actually be proud of being able to ask for help. I'm not too proud to ask for help at all. If I'm struggling, the first thing I will do is like, nope, I'm not. I refuse to struggle. I need help. Somebody help me. And I get it nipped in the bud because I know what happens when we don't. If you're not good at asking for help, Sharon, why is that? Are you too proud? Guys, I'm just noticing my eyebrows. Why is one of them just higher than the other? What is going on? Are my eyebrows always like that? Sandra, have you noticed this before? Oh no. Oh, sorry, Sharon. But are, is it a pride issue with you? I know that it can be a pride issue with men. Oh yeah, I was talking about getting glasses. You Well, struggling to define where you need help is kind of different. So I, well, yeah, but one eyebrow, I just, I can see it, it's like right above. <laughs> this one, why is it up so high? What's going on? I don't know if I am imagining things. You don't think it's pride. Well, if you don't want to share with us, I'm not, I never would want you to, if you're uncomfortable at all, I would recommend that you just, if you don't have a journal, I would keep a journal because I, I get my biggest clarity and insight whenever I journal. And when I journal, I, actually I'll take my glasses off because that flipping green is doing my head in. Um, whenever I journal, you don't like to bother people. That's what Lisa said. Well, that depends. Who, who is it? That, nope. Whoever said this, but, yep. I nearly said a real bad word there, so yep. <laughs> if my friend was struggling and I found out that they were struggling in silence and I had the answers and it wasn't, uh, hey Tosha, I'm so sorry. It's probably because our clocks went forward last weekend on Saturday night. So that could be the reason for the confusion. I had posted the new schedule in the Facebook group during the week. Also, have you had anything in the post? Did those papers arrive? Um, yeah, so, if I found out that my friend had been struggling in silence with something and I had the answer like that and it was in a two minute phone call, I would slap them stupid. When it comes to journaling, so what I would do whenever it comes to something like, oh, well, I understand that I'm private. I'm very private. Um, but there are a couple of people that I do trust that I would ask for help. And if I wouldn't ask them for help, I would immediately book a therapy appointment or I would immediately sign up to talk space and talk to a professional. Um, but I, I understand the want to be private and keep your privacy basically. thousand pound phone and Alan on. I don't I didn't hear that. Well I suppose we're different countries like that might be why. <laughs> but yeah it's let me see this. Some of it is pride and wishing that you could do it yourself but the other pride is being let down. Also can understand that that your support system is small and undependable. But again you don't need to necessarily go to a friend or a family member like the Samaritans exist for a reason. There are free phone numbers. There are support groups on Facebook. Um, there are support groups for almost every condition that are free and have regular calls on a regular basis. There's one for mine, 
which is hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, and they've got calls every single week. And well, yes, that is that's I'm like that too. You know who to share with. You know what to share with. But if you can't, you think people don't want to know your troubles, but that's not the case. Like if you were my friend, because we're not friends. No, I'm always. <laughs> I just mean if we were close friends and I found out you were struggling and you thought because you didn't want to tell me your troubles, I would slap you stupid. I would. And it would be out of love and maybe grab you and shake you a bit because I have done that to my best friend because <laughs> she was struggling with something. And within five minutes, we had sorted it out and she felt so much better. And I was like, why would you not come to me? Thank you. There's a great chronic illness support group, beyondmybattle.com. Fantastic. There you go. And I promise you that for whatever condition you have, there are support groups on Facebook. There are local support groups. There are international support groups. There are people there who are ready to help you. There are personality types like mine. I am an ISFJ that is also a defender profile and we are natural helpers. It's what we are driven to do. Like even before I became an art therapist, my friends would come to me for advice and help always. That's just always been a thing for me. And my granny used to, well, no, she still does. She's still here. <laughs> she would say, why do you get so wise? Mm -hmm. But like, that's what I am. It's what I do. I'm a helper and I feel compelled to help people. And it is, um, yes, uh, just in case anybody, if I forgot to share that, Al-Anon is for people who grew up with or were in relationships with or family members of uh, alcoholics. But there are, does uh, do they do it for all addictions? I'm sure they do. There must be. I just know that Al-Anon specifically is for alcoholics. Um, back to Becca and what she said. I tried journaling a few times, but you just blank out. I can understand that. Uh, normally I use a template. And um, so whenever it comes to, so I struggle with asking for help. I would write that at the top and then I would go, why? And then I would answer that. And then for that answer, I would say, but why? And I would answer that. And then I would go, but why? And it's normally five whys. It's the five whys, guys. Um, and that will normally get you, that will get you down deeper to the core of the answer. But you could definitely keep going uh, in business that is known as a drill down. But that that's how I gain most of my clarity is by stating what I am struggling with at the very top and just keep asking why. Why is it that I feel this way? Why do I think this way? How do I feel about feeling this way? How do I feel about thinking this way? I think that I'm going to do a journaling workshop, whether y'all like it or not. You're going to have to attend because I think it would be one of the things that could be most beneficial for you if you really struggle to ask for help. And I could share my templates that I use with you and just really explain just different scenarios and go through a couple of examples of how we can drill down like and I will do something that I'm struggling with just to show you like in real time and I will be honest and I'm like well why why do I think that and why wonder what's that about and like the amount of times I'm like oh my god I was seven years old <laughs> these things because they're in your brain I know that I have told you guys this before, but like your subconscious, your entire life has been a sponge and it has absorbed everything, every experience, everything anyone has ever said to you, everything is in there and it can take a while to just get down there. You're scared of writing in your journal. Why is that in case you make it messy or what? Yeah, okay, so next week's journaling. <laughs> It's in the diary, guys. We can't back out now. What day is that? No, I can't bloody see without my glasses on. Is that the 12th? Somebody tell me. 12th of April.
So I journal every single day, morning and evening. I find that it helps to, like if I don't have creative time in the day, which I do normally do in the morning anyway, like about 10 minutes, it's just, it's another way of getting your brain in that alpha mode so that you can wind down and get ready for sleep. And in that 12th is a Monday, right? Okay, I can't see. <laughs> That's the ninth, guys. It's the ninth. Claire Nath glasses is what we, <laughs> we learned here. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Oh, so, yes, I do need to wear my glasses. Thank you. The 9th of April. I'll do it on the Friday, just the usual time. It'll be 7 p.m. Oh, look, that's. Is it my nose that's causing wonky glasses and that's why my eyebrow look big? <laughs> Flipping heck, Tucker. Yes, I can 100% understand that, definitely. Um, there will come a point when you're ready and you don't have to do it for the big stuff. You don't have to unpack the boxes um because for me it'll it can be anything to do with a block in my mindset so whether that is to do with well why do i not love saving money or why am i eating so much and sometimes it's not even deep emotional stuff it's like oh well maybe if you did this instead of this and like oh yeah there was a simple solution the entire time and it was right in front of my face. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be. Actually, I've got my journal here. And in my journal, I write um, motivational quotes pretty much every day. This is Pooley Printer. Pooley Printer quotes. And then like, so I make sure I keep three things that I'm grateful for every single day because by the way if you do that if you just use your journal to keep to write in three things that you're grateful for every day it rewires your brain within 30 days and it creates more positive neural pathways in your brain so i highly recommend that if you don't journal to unpack stuff you at least start because you don't necessarily have to unpack stuff okay what you can do is think about the box that you don't want to unpack and then think of the things that you're grateful for and what you're doing is instead of the neg the negative neural pathways that you were just going down with that box you're developing new positive ones and then the more you do it every single day the deeper those neural pathways are forming and the more they will set so bye Stacey it was lovely to see you I will see you next week same time I won't be here much longer because I realize I've had you for a whole hour but I will get onto the journal class next week, but please just as an exercise this week, um, just write down three things that you're grateful for every evening before you go to bed. Quotes with doodles. Yep. I think that they're great. And whenever the more that you do them, like you, you're embedding them and you know them in your bones. So the ones that I know in my bones are thoughts are not facts. And what's the other ones? I've got so many of them. Fear is usually false evidence appearing real in my bones. So it doesn't matter how bad my day is or how loud my imposter, get the, what do you call it? Inner critic, not imposter. I was thinking of imposter syndrome, but how loud my inner critic is, I know those in my bones. So I know that like, shut up, just shut up, you're tired. <laughs> you can't be, you can't be listening to her whenever you're this sleepy. So I will go over that with you next week. I will type up the template for you and just give you a printable but you can also use it just as an image to save on your phone and add it into your favorites folder and that way you can look at it every night or every morning two ways there we go a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor oh my goodness i've got something in my eye excuse me oh no hey tosha I saw you. I got you. I was telling you, uh, um, Tosha, about, uh, did you get something in the post? So I was just saying there that 
we'll do a journal in class next week just as a wee bit of something different. And do write three things that you're grateful for. And I will post some reminders in the group, like just just a wee, hey, well, t tell everybody what you're grateful for. Becca, I absolutely love that. Oh, and success is never linear. Like it's always, people think that it's like a straight incline, but no, it's usually like this. <laughs> we go, and a setback doesn't equal failure. It just means you've had a setback and you can skyrocket if you want to. So thank you so much for joining me this week. Uh, join me at the same time next week and we will go over that journal in class. I will go ahead now, I'll go downstairs and I will download the PDF and upload it into the Facebook group and get um, Sandra to tag everybody that showed up today and Tosha, who's over on YouTube at the minute. No problem, Tosha. It was lovely to have you here. Thank you so much and I will see you next week. Bye.